First of all, I would like to pay my high respects to His Excellency Dr. Lee Che, the members of Parliament for Phnom Penh Capital, also Director General of Belty Group and Lo Chum Tio. Belty Management Team's Honorable Judges, Teacher, Contestant, all the audience, ladies and gentlemen, very good morning. Well, my name is Chua Kim Hay, only well three contestant group two at Belty International School Compares 50, Chumpu One. Today, I'm extremely incredibly to be chosen as the contestant in the final round of this English speaking contest program in order to present you one of the most remarkable topics, which is called What is the difference between study hard and study smart? Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, before I go in deeper, I would like to define two keywords that are related to my topic. Hard and smart. But wait, what does this word mean? Is it a name of the country? A name of many more other places? Mm, no, that's not really. So what is it supposed to be? Based on Cambridge Dictionary, the word hard means showing or requiring considerable physical or mental energy and effort, which is smart means clever or bright. Have you ever known there was a lot of students out there who were seeing their time on study, such as doing homework, exercises, assignment, memory lesson, extract, almost every day, but they may not sure that they study hard or study smart. This thing always happens on every single student, even high school, secondary, or university. And when we're talking about study hard and smart, most of the people probably get confused because they think it's the same, but in fact, there's a huge difference between study hard and smart. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, can you imagine a little bit about the difference between study hard and smart? Mm, however, to explain and make our topic more interesting, I would like to raise up three main points to present you. Without further ado, let's begin our point. First point, study hard. Study hard means that you invest a lot of your time to study, work really hard, without studying schedule, preparing, or studying technique, like taking notes over and over again, not having adequate break while studying, especially along with affecting the part of brain by consuming and stressful too. Mm, why? Why, why, why? Because other students, they're not still the best in the age group, but they want to be the best one. So they try really hard to do it. 24 hours a day, 7 days per week, rest of free time. They use least benefit for study, study, and study. It's impossible, right? Begin this situation. You're not going to be successfully. Moreover, it also interrupts the entire body and health as well. All right, so now we're moving on to the second feature, study smart. Study smart means that you study more intelligently, effectively, and officially. The student who study smart, they just take less time to do it. They are over developing or upgrading their studying skill. Have five minute break after study for 20 minutes. Have enough time to build up a good relationship or communicating with other people who live around them too. Furthermore, studying smart will help the student reduce stress successfully and produce optimal results. Last but not least, the difference between two of these terms. As you already know about the meaning of study hard and smart, but you're not clear enough about the difference of that. Hey, don't worry, I'm here to show you. Studying smart is way better and way different than study hard. Why mention like that? Because study smart is an waste half of the time to study, but we still achieve outstanding results. While study hard is try so hard, spend too much time, stressful, and only 50% that you can be successfully. According to my description above, so what do you guys prefer between study hard and study smart? For myself, I definitely prefer study smart. Don't get me wrong, I'm not a smart person, but you don't have to be smart to study smart. And again, I'm not encouraging not study hard. You can choose yourself. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, before my presentation has come to an end, I would like to share a message that you must remember in your mind. Eat plain, study hard, spend smart, work out. Don't compare, be happy. Thank you so much. My heart respect to His Excellency Dr. Lee Ching, Lu Chun Tiu, and all participants. Hello. Hello so, sir. do we need smartphones to, to study smart? Why or why not? Well, thank you for your wonderful question. Mm, smartphone is the kind of thing that can help us to study too. So, some uh, students should, should use smartphone for study because when we use smartphone, we can easily for researching for our study and search some word that we can never know before. So, thank you. Uh, my highest respect to His Excellency Dr. Lee Chang and uh, Lok Chiam Tia and all participants. Uh, my question is, uh, what is a good way to study smart? 
Oh, thank you for your interesting question. Mm, to study smart, I'm going to raise up two tips to tell you. So first tip, you have to try to understand it, not try to memorize it. When you try to memorize it, the information will store in your brain for a shorter time. But if you try to understand it, the information will store in your brain for a longer time. So the second tip, you have to do more research and more review. Even you study hard or study smart, you have to do it because you need to build up your understanding. So thank you so much.